In this triad exercise, we're looking at something that I referred to in an earlier example, and that's that when we divide or multiply both sides of an equation by a negative value, we have to change the direction of the inequality symbol. So with part A, we're given negative 8q is less than 32. So we'll divide both sides by negative 8. Since we're dividing both sides by a negative number, we change the direction of the inequality symbol to greater than instead of less than. And we get that q is greater than negative 4. And then the process is the same as it was before. Uh, we draw the solution on a number line, so let's create our number line. We have that q is greater than negative 4. So when we draw the number line, we want to make sure that negative 4 is somewhere uh, towards the left since it's greater than. That's not a necessity, but it's ideal. So there's negative 4, here's negative 5, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0. It's non-inclusive, so again we can use either a parenthesis or an open circle. And for contrast, I will use a different color for the graph. And it's greater than, so we go to the right. And then in interval notation, we begin at negative 4, but not including negative 4. And we go infinitely in the positive direction. So it would be negative 4, infinity in interval notation. With part B, we're given k over negative 12 is less than or equal to 15. So again, we multiply both sides by negative 12. The 12's, negative 12's on this side cancel. We're left with k. Now we multiplied both sides by negative value, so we have to change the direction of the inequality symbol to be k is greater than or equal to 15 times negative 12, which is negative 160. So again, I draw my number line. We'll put negative 160 right about here. We'll make each tick mark 10. So negative 160, negative 150, negative 140, negative 130, negative 120. Now with this one, it's inclusive. So at negative 160, we want either an open, or we want either a closed circle or a bracket. I'll go ahead and use a bracket here. Again, a closed circle would work as well. And we're going to the right again. And in interval notation, we're starting at negative 160, and it includes negative 160. And we're going to the right infinitely, so negative 160, infinity.